Hi guys, it's Ali. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am reviewing, swatching and doing a little demo of the brand new Huda Beauty Cheeky Tint Blush Sticks. So if you want to see the tea shades I picked up as well as my opinion, how they apply, what the tea is on these sticks, then go ahead and keep on watching. Before we dive straight into these blush sticks, I do want to take a, li a little bit of your time, a little bit, to talk to you guys about a company that I have worked with before and I have had the chance to work with them again. So it's Ana Luisa Jewelry. So if you remember, last year I did show you guys three pieces of jewelry that I got from Ana Luisa and I am fortunate enough to have been able to pick up three more pieces. So if you remember last year, this is actually a piece that I've already got this silver heart necklace, which I will show you a close up of. So this is what the necklace looks like. And the one thing I love about Ana Luisa jewelry is that it is so super sturdy and the quality of the materials they use is absolutely phenomenal for the price that you pay. I'm just gonna show you guys my necklace that I got last year. This is both of the pieces next to each other. So the gold one, which is this one right here, is the one that I had last year and if you look at it it's still in absolutely perfect condition and this is the new silver one I absolutely love these pieces you've seen me wearing this gold one in quite a few of my videos but yeah this is what it looks like and then okay no and then similarly to last year I did get the matching silver heart earrings which are just here so cute, really dainty, but I just really like how they look. It's just, I don't know, it's cute and it's Ana Luisa. The orders come packaged in this simple brown cardboard box. And then when you open it on the inside, it's just got their branding on there. We do have a new packaging for the jewellery, which I'm really excited about. So this is a green canvas like material and it's got a magnetic opening like this and this is the final pair of earrings that i got so they're just these adorable dainty rose earrings i will leave a link in the description box to the video that i filmed last year showcasing my other three pieces for anyone who does want to see that i also have a discount code you already know i had to pull through for my people so i have a discount code that i will leave linked in the description box down below as well if you are someone who wants to check out their march madness event but without further ado let's get straight into these blush sticks so these blushes launched a couple days ago so hopefully it's still early enough for you to sort of check out the swatches see what i think and you know make a decision as to whether or not you want to purchase the two shades i did end up getting are coral cutie and rebel red so these retail for £21 here in the UK. The description for this product says it's a beautifully buildable and moisturising cheap cream stick that instantly melts into the skin, glides like a dream and blends so seamlessly, kissing your complexion with a dewy hint of tint for major second skin vibes and a juicy glow. Me and second skin vibes... You know what I mean? So this sounds like it's going to be right up my alley. I've recently really been into looking for orangey, corally type blushes. So when I did see this launch, I didn't buy any of the pink or berry shades. And I've also been obsessed with finding the perfect orange. I'm being deadly serious too. Like I actually have been on the hunt for an orange blush. I recently picked up the nude sticks in the shade Picant or Picante and Poppy Girl because... I've just been really into like the orangey red vibe, especially as summer's coming up. It just, it's what I want and what I need. I'm just going to show you how gorgeous this colour is. I haven't been able to try it out yet, but I just wanted to show you, just to show you. Look at this shade. These look stunning. So if anyone does want a video on these, definitely drop a comment. I'll be more than happy to film one. But yeah, that's just to show you that, you know... This is what I'm looking for and what I need. So this is what the packaging looks like. I'm not gonna lie. When I did first see it, when it launched, I wasn't too keen on the packaging, but now I see it in person, it's actually very, very cute. It's very, very cute and sleek. And I'm, yeah, I'm all about it. So then you just pop off the lid and then this is the product. Should we see how much it comes out? This is the full amount of product in this component. And this shade right here is Coral Cutie. I'm nervous. I'm hoping that it's going to look. Okay, so the colour definitely shows up on my skin. I 
and that is what it looks like it's actually quite cute it's got some shimmers in it which i didn't expect i'm not sure if that's in every shade thing or if it's just a coral kitty and then let's go ahead and swatch rebel red right underneath her so these are the two shades i don't know how i feel right now we're gonna see what happens we're gonna see i think for application i'm going to do what i have seen which is to apply the product onto a brush and then sort of stipple that in but then i'll also glide one of them onto the cheek and try and buffer it out and see how we get on with that as well so i don't know which shade i want to start with i think we'll go for coral cutie first I'm taking my Mima Cosmetics. This is actually a foundation brush. Probably not the best brush for this, but it's what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to do this a little bit. I'm trying not to overdo it. Which cheek do I want this colour on? I think we'll go on this side. Okay, so it's not super pigmented. It's very sheer, but you can build it up if you can see. Ooh. Okay, so that's actually very, very cute. I think for the first application, I have put quite a bit on my brush. So I'm going to use my finger to diffuse it. But that pop of colour is absolutely... Ooh! And the shimmers that were in it that I mentioned... Okay, let's try and... That's actually quite gorgeous. And yeah, so it's got this like dewy finish to it so it's not a matte product whatsoever so if you are someone who doesn't like a glowy sort of luminous product this might not be for you but I okay coral cutie is actually such a good shade and do you see it's like subtle but it's oh 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 Okay, yeah, so it's definitely, definitely buildable. I didn't think a shade like this would show up on my complexion, but it absolutely has. Wow, okay. Okay, Coral Cutie. I think I absolutely did the right thing in picking the shades that I did. I don't think I would have been as content with a berry pink purpley type shade as I am with this orange, because it's just, it adds this vibrance. Like, it's so summer ready. Okay, 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 okay. We're going to see how Rebel Red looks. And again, I'm just taking another Mima Cosmetics foundation brush. Yes, I have multiple sets of the same brushes. I love Mima Cosmetics brushes. And I will leave a link in the description box if anyone does want to check them out. So this one's red, so let's, let's go a little bit lighter handed than I did with Coral Kitty first. And then we'll sort of build it up and see what kind of shade we get. Okay. Yeah, so these are very user friendly, is what I found. Oh, wait, no, I wasn't actually supposed to put this on the brush. That's not how we were supposed to apply this one. This one's going directly on the face, okay. Should we do that? Put a bit on the apple as well. Okay. I may or may not have put too much on, but I have faith. I have faith, and I think it's going to blend up really nicely. And it's not going to be giving clown. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> what have I done? Yeah, you definitely just have to blend it out properly. I feel like I don't know which one I prefer. I think I like both of them. I do wish that Coral Cutie was a bit more orange. A bit more orange. But... I like them. I like them. I feel like they might look really nice blended together as well. I think the formula is actually really nice as well. It's giving me like Fenty Beauty cream blush vibes but with less pigment. I feel like the Fenty blush you can use a lot less product and still get that colour payoff. Whereas this one, you know, it does take a couple, you know. Oh... I think once you blend them out, they both look super, super nice. And it's definitely more of a subtle, 
blush like it gives you that splash of color so those were the two shades that i picked up and i'm not gonna lie i actually really 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 like this blush formula it's definitely something that's a bit more me if you are someone who's been watching me for a long time i used to be scared of blush so I wish a product like this had been around way back when, when I was first getting into blushes and things like that, because it was that intensity that sort of pulled me away from them. But I feel like this is absolutely perfect for someone if you want a splash of color with a little bit more control over how much you can put on and stuff like that. And it just gives this lovely, gorgeous finish and it's so beautiful. I just feel like it adds this sun-kissed holiday juiciness that I'm actually a huge, huge fan of. A huge, huge fan of. I kind of wish there were more colours, just so we did have a bit more variety, you know, a bit more depth in some of the orangey shades, a bit more depth in some of the pinker shades, you know. A bit more to play with because I actually think the formula is really, really nice. So, yeah, I actually don't have much negatives to say apart from maybe the quantity there's not a lot in there but if i do compare it to the fenty cream blush there's not a lot in those either so yeah so that's pretty much it for my first impression on these blushes if i have left anything out or if you have any questions then drop a comment in the comment section down below don't forget to check out the Ana luisa website for all your jewelry favorite bits and don't forget to use my discount code if you are looking to get some money off thank you guys for tuning into my channel if you did enjoy this video make sure that you subscribe before you go and leave a cheeky thumbs up we are on our way to 10k so if you do want to help your girl get there then that would be much appreciated if you supported the channel I'm gonna go now, but I, yeah, no, these blushes, points were made, points were made. That's pretty much it for me today, and I'll see you guys in my next video.